Hello and welcome to Acute Medicine quiz number two. The first quiz is already been uploaded to Moodle. Uh, this is an audio version of uh, the Acute Medicine quiz. Uh, this is the second version and there will be a separate video and document with the answers. So this is uh, designed to help facilitate and consolidate your learning uh, in acute medicine. Uh, there will be images, lab results and ECGs. Some of the questions are harder than others. Um, all of the questions, however, are on a, uh, are all single best answer. Of course, this isn't a timed test. And like the other quiz, you can pause uh, and go through your document uh, at your leisure. So let's begin. So question number one on the next slide is an image from a CT head. I'd like you to review the image and decide what you think is the diagnosis. This is the image from the CT head. Pause the video as long as you need to take a look at the CT head. So what is the diagnosis? Is it A, subdural hematoma? B, extradural hematoma, C, stroke with intracranial bleeding, D, stroke with infarction, or E, cerebral edema. Question two, a 50 year old woman is admitted to the acute medicine unit with sepsis. Her blood pressure is 70 over 50, her heart rate is 120, and capillary refill time is four seconds. She was administered 1,000 mils of fluid in the emergency department. She weighs 70 kilos. What is the single most appropriate fluid prescription? Is it A, one unit of blood over 30 minutes, B, 500 mils of crystalloid solution over 15 minutes, C, 1,000 mils of crystalloid solution over one hour, D, 500 mils of 4.5% human albumin solution over 30 minutes, or E, 500 mils of 5% dextrose over 15 minutes. Question three, the same patient gets further IV fluids to a total of five liters over seven hours. Her BP remains 80 over 65. Her heart rate has improved to 100. She is catheterized and is passing 15 mils uh, per hour of urine. What is the single best next appropriate step? Is it A. Continue IV fluids B. Change the fluid to intravenous colloid C. Discontinue the intravenous fluids D administer intravenous frusamide or E, refer to the critical care team. Question five, a 70 year old man with COPD presents with shortness of breath. His saturations are 80% on a non rebreathe mask. He is hemodynamically stable Review the chest x-ray that appears on the following slide and decide what is the most appropriate next step. And this is the patient's chest x-ray here. Pause the slide uh, and take the time that you need to review the x-ray. So question five, what is the most appropriate next step? Is it A, plural aspiration? B, discharge home and perform serial chest x-rays. C, needle decompression. D, insert a Seldinger chest drain. E, admit and observe. Question six. A 53 year old woman collapses after developing a sudden severe headache. She says it is the worst headache she has ever had. She has a history of migraines what is the single best investigation to confirm the diagnosis? Is it A, CT brain, B, MRI head, C, MR cerebral angiogram, D, a lumbar puncture, or E, a CT cerebral angiogram? Question 
Question 7. A 47-year-old man is referred by his GP to acute medicine with a hot, swollen left knee, as pictured. He has a raised BMI and a temperature of 37.7. What is the single most appropriate investigation? A. Blood culture. B. Knee aspiration. C. Serum CRP, C-reactive protein. D. Serum urate. Or E. Knee x-ray. Question 8. A patient is in cardiac arrest. After two minutes, this rhythm strip is printed. There remains no pulse. Take your time to look at the rhythm strip. The question is, what is the most appropriate next step? Is it A, transcutaneous pacing, B, continue chest compressions and administer IV adrenaline, C, defibrillate at 200 joules, D, transvenous pacing, or E, continue chest compressions and administer IV atropine. Question 9. An ECG rhythm strip is shown below. What is the rhythm shown? Is it A. Trossage de Poix, B. Ventricular fibrillation, C. Ventricular tachycardia, D. P wave asystole, or E. Atrial flutter? Question 11. A 19-year-old is brought into resus in cardiac arrest. He collapsed whilst running a marathon. He is normally fit and well. There is no significant family history. He doesn't survive and a post-mortem is performed. What is the most likely post-mortem finding? Is it A, ischemic heart disease, B, aortic stenosis, C, tetralogy of Fallot, D. Hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy or E. Aberrant coronary artery. On the next slide, a chest x-ray is displayed. I'd like you to review the chest x-ray and decide what is the x-ray diagnosis. Here is the x-ray and again pause to take, spend your time to look at the image as long as it is required. So what is the x-ray diagnosis? Is it A, pneumothorax, B, atelectasis, C, pneumoperitoneum, D, hiatus hernia, or E, normal? Question 13. A 35-year-old returns from the Far East where he had a six-week holiday. His GP refers him to acute medicine with deranged liver function tests. He had no sexual intercourse whilst away and uses no recreational drugs. He feels generally unwell with right upper quadrant pain. His liver function tests show a bilirubin of 44 micromoles per litre. The normal ranges are on the right hand side and alkaline phosphatase of 145 international units per litre aspartate transaminase uh, at 225 international units per litre and a gamma GT of 75 international units per litre. The question is, what is the single most likely diagnosis? Is it A, hepatitis A, B, hepatitis B, C, hepatitis C, D, alcoholic hepatitis, E autoimmune hepatitis. Question 14. A rhythm strip is shown below. Review the rhythm strip now and decide what you think the diagnosis is. Is it A first degree heart block, B second degree heart block type 1, C second degree heart block type 2, D third degree heart block, and E, atrial fibrillation. Question 15. 
A 85-year-old woman is admitted with community-acquired pneumonia. Her blood pressure is 70 over 50, her heart rate 115 beats per minute and respiratory rate 33. She is alert and her temperature is 38.5. She is treated with oxygen, giving oxygen saturations of 92% and intravenous antibiotics. What is this woman's NEWS2 score? Is it A10, B11, C12, D13, E14? Question 16. The woman's chest x-ray confirms a right middle lobe pneumonia. Her urea is documented as 10 millimoles per litre. What is this woman's CURB 65 score? Is it A2, B3, C4, D5, E6? Question 17. Which of the following drugs can cause a lactic acidosis? Is it A. Glyclozide, B. Linagliptin, C. Puglitazone, D. Saxagliptin, or E. Metformin? Question 18. Below is a rhythm strip. What is the single most appropriate next step? Is it to administer A. Intravenous amiodarone, B. Intravenous adrenaline, C. Intravenous sodium chloride, D. Intravenous magnesium, and E. Intravenous calcium? Question 19. A 40 year old is found in cardiac arrest. CPR is started and the patient is rapidly intubated. Five minutes later, during chest compressions, a nurse finds a valid do not resuscitate or DNAR for the patient. What is the single most appropriate next step? Is it to A, immediately terminate the resuscitation as the DNAR is valid? B. Continue until possible reversible causes have been excluded. C. Complete the current cycle of resuscitation, then make a team decision. D. Call a family, explain what's happened and stop the resuscitation if they agree. And E. Call a patient's consultant and ask to discontinue. Question 20. An 8-year-old is admitted with shortness of breath. She is found to have untreatable metastatic lung cancer. The patient con patient's consultant suggests a DNAR on the ward round. You are the FY1 on the ward. What is the single most appropriate next step? Is it A. Assess the patient's capacity and discuss with them the decision if they wish. B. Discuss the decision with the patient's family first. C. Agree to complete the DNER on the ward round. D. Delay the decision and observe the patient's progress. Or E. Ask the GP, patient's GP to organise on discharge. So that completes this uh, acute medicine quiz number two. I will do a video and a document with the answers. And thank you for completing the quiz and I hope you enjoyed it.